Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Vivitar PS35 or Autofocus PS35. Um, I'm not sure exactly when it was made. I did see a popular photography ad uh, from 1985 that had this guy. So 84, 85, 86, right in there. It has a 35 millimeter uh, f 3.8 lens. It uses infrared triangulation to get the distance. It powers on with this sliding cover. It's powered by two AA batteries, one up, one down, in this chamber in the bottom. Uh, it has a red light. Probably won't be able to see this because of the sunlight. But the red light tells you that you should use flash. There's no tripod socket, but it's nice and flat on the bottom. And you enable the flash with this slider on the back. It pops up this little flag to let you know that the uh, flash is enabled. And then once it's charged, hopefully you can see that, this green LED on the back comes on to let you know that the flash is ready to fire. And then if you want to disable flash, you just push down on the little flag. There was an earlier version of this that had ISO settings inside the clamshell cover. This one is strictly DX encoding. Um, I haven't figured out exactly, but it's not like a bunch of the really, really cheap DX encoding. It's got four decent contacts here. Um, really, really cheap ones will only have two so that it can only get uh, settings for 100 or 400. I don't know what this defaults to if you use a non-DX encoded canister. I would guess it's probably 100. It does have pretty easy loading. You just bring the leader out to this yellow outline mark here and then you close it and this roller pinches on the take-up spool. That's it. It's a piece of cake. You just need to make sure that your sprocket holes are lined up. This upper one here runs the uh, film counter. It does not automatically load though. So once you uh, put your film in there you need to hit the shutter button a couple of times until the film canister or the film counter comes off of this and says one. If you load it carefully, you can probably shoot, you know, zero, maybe zero, zero. It has a little window on the back uh, to let you, so you can see what kind of film you have loaded. And that's the only place it has foam. It has decent uh, labyrinth seals here with quite a bit of overlap, so light would have to really try to get in there. So that's nice because, what, about 85, 35-year-old camera, usually seals are slimy goo by then. There's a later version called the PS135 that its close focus uh, is 1.3 meters, about 4.3 feet. It uses this sensor right here to set the exposure. I don't know the shutter speeds. I did have the front off of this just to look around, see if I could find a manufacturer's stamp, find out who made it for Vivitar. Could not find it, but I did have a little fun uh, playing with the aperture. Apparently it's the same mechanism uh, for the aperture and it acts as the shutter as well. Um, the same uh, popular photography ad that I mentioned earlier in 1985, this thing was $67.85 US. I'll put whatever that comes out to in current dollars right now. Really, the only identification for this guy is that it was made in Korea. There's a serial number here. So I've had a heck of a time trying to figure out who made this. Before I go, I almost forgot, it also does not automatically sense the end of the film and rewind. Um, you have to hit this switch right here. It doesn't work without film in it. You, know, you have to pop the back in order to get the switch to come off the rewind position. 
but I had some fun with it. I didn't need another mid-80s point-and-shoot, but it had some film in it. I'm always curious about found photos. So I got it, um, processed that, got a couple of frames, but people always pop the back on cameras in a thrift store. And then I shot a, uh, a test roll, something else I got from our local Goodwill. It's a 12 exposure roll of Fuji Color Riala uh, ISO 100. It was not in great shape. I bought, I think, a half a dozen different rolls for like 99 cents a piece. But anyway, it's been, it's been fun to shoot with, and that's about it. So I'm on to the next camera. Everything kind of got gummed up, so I will see you then.